Yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to a brand new video. A couple videos ago, I showed you that the LS430 is pretty much done. And a lot of you guys left some dope feedback. When I saw all of your comments, it reminded me of when I first built my IS250. That was back in the day, that was in high school. Back then times were a little bit different, actually a lot different. And every time I would do something to that car, I would go in detail and go in depth. So I feel like just to bring it back to that, kind of old nostalgic feeling. Let me give you guys a detailed walkthrough of my LS430, what I've done to it, and why I love this car so much. So let's go. So for those of you that don't know, this is my second LS430. I sold my first one to get a GX, but honestly, after I sold it, I instantly regretted it because this car is freaking amazing. Now, sometimes when I tell people I have a LS430, they think of just a grandpa car, and I'll give it to them. A stock LS430 looks pretty grandpa-ish but once you do it up vip style it looks like a completely different car and also before we start i just want to say i feel like lexus was ahead of its time when they made this vehicle right here there's a lot of features that i see on this vehicle that i don't see on newer cars and it's honestly amazing to think that something that's 18 years old, something that's 18 years old has so much more technology and features than a lot of the cars that are coming out in 2023. That is something. So when you first see an LS430, you're gonna notice how freaking long this car is. I like to call this car the boat. It feels like you're driving a land yacht and just because it's so long, it gives your passengers a lot more space. In my IS250, my passengers were really cramped, but in this car, the rear seats, are perfect keep in mind when lexus made this car this car was basically made to chauffeur people so you would have a driver and if you were a very important person you'd be sitting in the back we'll get to that later but let's just go ahead and go over some of the exterior stuff that i did first things first we upgraded the wheels to these weds crons vishnus i got these rebuilt to my spec from the homies over at devil's work in socal front was looking a little sunk in so the homie gabe gave me a 15 mil spacer and now it fits perfect the rear is also money tucking real nice and i had the homie rub doctor go ahead and roll shave and do whatever he had to do to fit these wheels and they fit perfect this car is also on airlift three-piece suspension i ordered directly through luke and he went ahead and did the full air suspension install on this car shout out to luke you guys will probably also notice that i like riding with my windows super dark i did a double layer five percent on the back as well as the front and that was from oj tint studio so shout out to omar and we also did 35 percent in the front all top tier s9 ceramic so it has the highest heat rejection i also added some window visors from well visors and that's pretty much it for the exterior i feel like this car doesn't need too much it's a very simple clean and elegant looking car you don't have to go super crazy you don't have to wide body it to make it look good all it needs is really a set of nice wheels and some suspension but yeah let's go ahead and get into those features i was talking about so this car is the custom trim so this one has a little bit more than the base model but this custom trim comes with all soft closing doors. So if you don't slam your door, they will bring it in for you. Sometimes when you have a package in your hand, you do the little hip bump and it goes like this. Your car got you. All of the doors are like that. And this is my first car that had the soft closing doors. And ever since I've been spoiled with this, it makes me feel like every single car that I have in the future should come with soft closing doors. This trim also comes with headlight washers. So this right here will pop up and it essentially just sprays the headlight i would do a demonstration for you guys but i just washed the car and i don't want to get water on it so maybe i could find a video of somebody doing it but that's pretty cool this car also comes with adaptive cruise control which means that if you're cruising on the freeway and the car is kind of slowing down in front of you it will start to slow down as well and when it starts picking up it'll pick up to the speed that you set it at that's pretty cool but yeah let's go ahead and take a look at the inside my favorite part about this car this is where things will get a little spicy let me turn it on real quick again this car was very ahead of its time so i might glance over some of the details or features so if i do just drop a comment down below and let me know what i missed out on okay so let's go ahead and start with this first feature right here this is a feature that i haven't seen in any other car this car comes with oscillating vents oscillating vents alex what's that well check this out have you guys ever seen a car that has vents that do this Please let me know, please. So basically it's fanning the air left, fanning the air right to make sure that it goes everywhere. Oscillating vents, baby. Also take a look at how nice the interior is. This interior features black leather, 
this nice, very like kind of cherry wood grain. The steering wheel has nice wood features as well. And the interior is super nice and super elegant. It doesn't look like this car is 18 years old. This car also comes with heated and cooled seats. So if you want your seats to be cool, put it on there, boom. And now the fan is turning on and it's cool in my booty. If you want it to be hot, you do the opposite. If you don't want anything, put it to the middle push it down. You're probably wondering where the cup holders are, right? The cup holders are hidden in this middle compartment right here. They hide really nice, so you don't always have to have them out. It gives it a more minimalistic and clean look when you have it just like this. But when you do those Bobo coffee runs, you pull this out, boom, you're good to go. We also have the ability to turn on a shade for our passengers. So let's say your passengers are complaining that it's hot back there. Put this up just like that. And if you want to open it, just open it like that. Before I even owned this car, I started watching a bunch of reviews, just trying to figure out, you know, why is the LS430 one of the top Lexus vehicles to ever release? And it's because of stuff like this. So let's say you're driving, right? The sun is beaming into your eyes. You put this down. Next, you put this one down. So now you have this gap right here where sunlight could possibly go through, right? So Lexus wanted to incorporate a freaking blocker above the mirror like that. That is attention to detail, and that's why this vehicle right here was so ahead of its time. It was so well put together, and I guarantee you 90% of the cars that come out today don't have this feature right here. Another feature that I really like is that all of the headrests are automatic. Watch this. So you could raise it up, raise it down with the push of a button. That's pretty cool. In most vehicles, the headrests have the little click things where you have to press it and then manually do it. But in this car, the driver as well as the passenger have automatic headrests. And like I mentioned before, this car is for people to be driven around in. So if you have your very important person that's sitting in the back or about to get in, you could go ahead and create some space for them by pressing these buttons on the side of the seat. And this will allow your passenger to sit in extra comfort. Another feature that this car has is these little squishy pads that prevent things from dropping all the way down underneath the seat. So back then they were thinking, hey, if Alex dropped something from his pockets, he'd probably have a hard time getting it out. So they put this right here. So you could go ahead and just grab it right here instantly. Super easy. Another cool feature about this car has to be these door panels. They all fold out just like this to make it easier to grab what you need and you just put it back. That's super cool. And at this point, I just feel like I'm selling you guys this car, but Trust me, man, this car sells itself. There's so many features. I can't even get to all of them in this video. I'm literally just kind of looking through, trying to think, okay, what am I missing? What am I not missing? Here's one that I almost missed. But let's say it's a cold day, right? And your side glass is also foggy, as well as your side mirror. You could go ahead and defrost, and when you defrost, it's also going to defrost the side windows, as well as the mirrors. The mirrors have a heat element in there, so then it could clear out any of the fog, or mist, or moisture, whatever you guys want to call it, which is pretty cool. The custom edition also comes with double pane glass, which means that this is basically two pieces of glass put together in one. And you're probably wondering what that does. Well, that makes it so inside the car, you hear a lot less. It's much more silent. So you're not gonna hear as much road noise or if something's just like super annoying outside, it's a lot more quiet in here. All right guys, my camera's about to die, but I'm gonna try to make this as fast as I can. Your rear passengers are gonna have their own vents, which is super, super nice. The most annoying part about being in the back seat of most cars is that there's barely any vents and it gets so hot back here, but it's cool that Lexus was thinking about that. You'll also have a vent by your feet, so your toesies get cooled as well. And this is how I fit back here in the back seat. Look at that. This is more leg room than a freaking airplane seat. It feels super nice. I could just lounge and feel comfortable. So I have my own mirror back here so I could check myself out. Hey, what's good? Coat hanger. Side light. And I even have my own ashtray. If I smoked, put the ashes right here, take it out. I could dump it out later. Pretty cool. And both sides have all of these features. We also have a center armrest. If you lift it up, both of these seats are heated as well with cup holders, which is super sick. How did Lexus come up with all this back in the day? 
like I said, my battery's about to die. I think I got most of the stuff. I know I'm probably missing some things as well. The LS430 is currently going for around like maybe 10 to 15K, depending on the mileage, depending on the condition, but in my opinion, I feel like the LS430 is the best bang for your buck if you're looking for a vehicle that is more on the luxurious side and your budget isn't too crazy, the LS430 is perfect. I feel like in the future, these cars will go up in value just slightly, but right now I feel like the LS430s are slept on and I guarantee you, if you didn't know about LS430s before, you're probably like, wow, I didn't know all that. But yeah, this is the new look for the LS430. I don't really plan on going too crazy with this car. I was thinking about doing a body kit, but it's not really necessary right now. You guys let me know what you think about the LS430. Is it sick? Would you consider owning one? And what car is better than the LS430 in that ten dollars to $15,000 price range? That's my challenge for you guys. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. And I'll see y'all very soon for the next one. It's your boy Sneakerhead in the Bay. I'm out. Peace.